for those just tuning in, we just put the finishing touches on Kraid. That means it is Ridley's turn, right? Yeah, I'm a. Uh, I'm plugging away at this game, right? I'm having a lot of fun still. I uh, hope this isn't too frustrating for anyone watching this who's like a little more uh, closer to what one might consider a speedrunner, somebody who's efficient at getting all this shit done, right? Uh, that's not what I do, you know? Uh, I just, I'm having fun, hanging out, shooting shit, discovering games that maybe I missed for one reason or another, uh, playing games that I have an existing love for, right? Introducing my friends to games that I love, you know? Or reminding them that there are games that they love too and they haven't played them in a while. So right off the bat, I'm trying to learn this wall jump. I'm getting it, little by little, I'm getting it. It's a little tricky, it's a little finicky, but we're gonna get it. All right, let me see. All right, all right. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Ah! I wanna find some secrets. I wanna be a little more, uh, a little more juiced up when I face like Mother Brain this time. My initial playthrough, I wanna say my item collection was meager. Right, to say the least. That's putting it mildly. Uh, yeah, it's nothing to write home about. I want to rectify that this time. We're gonna find some items. At least like a few. I want to get to like, I don't even think I got to 50% in my own personal playthrough. We, we gotta get at least to 50%, right? Um, I haven't been looking up anything uh, intentionally, but I will say, in the interest of being transparent. Uh, while I've been looking up videos about the lore and just retrospectives about like all the Metroid games, uh, people have inadvertently uh, shown me where some hidden items are, you know? I may or may not remember them. I don't want you to see me like uh, recognize a wall or something and recognize I need to bomb someplace that's like kind of hidden and think I'm full of shit and I'm looking through a, a walkthrough. I told you I wasn't gonna do that, right? But I would be a lie if I was trying to tell you that like uh, this is all completely just me going through blind. Oh, there's some secrets in here, right? Where are you? So in my travels, doing research, learning about my new favorite thing, Metroid. Uh, one of the things I've been hearing uh, uh, is that they've been discussing, at the very least, making a Metroid movie, right? Which, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, right? Video game movies have come a long way. Um, there's a whole slew of, of movies that aren't exactly uh, the best representation of these franchises. Um, but we have gotten movies that have kind of, oh, hold on, hold on. We've gotten movies that have kind of turned the corner. Sonic, the new Mario Brothers movie, like they're kids movies, so I don't judge them too harshly, but they're definitely like way better and they seem to at least somewhat respect the source material. All right, so Ridley's on his way, All right? We gotta get ready. Um, but what I was saying is uh, from what I was reading, it looks like they were at least discussing a Metroid movie, which isn't really surprising, you know? A lot of these movie studios, especially if we're talking about particular ones, like they're chomping at the bit to find like franchises that have a built-in audience already, you know, that they can just 
throw some cash at, fart something out, and get something for their investment. You know, get a return on their investment. I would be excited for it, you know, depending on who's attached to it. Right? You get a James Gunn or something, you know? You know, if it's Metro, you probably don't have like an ensemble cast. Um, or too many characters to juggle. I don't know. I don't know how I'd want want to see this movie portrayed, you know? Because we talked about it before in um, when I was playing Metroid Dread. This game is heavily inspired by Alien and Aliens, you know? Um, and a big part of that, that franchise, at least like the original one or two, it's supposed to be like the claustrophobic, like, um, almost desolate feeling, you know, where you feel very isolated, ooh, 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 ooh. you know, it's either just you or you and like a very small group of individuals versus this alien that's stalking you, you know? Who would we want to cast? Right? Cause, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Got it. I think also you kind of need to, uh, like I could be wrong. I'm totally a noob here. Um, I feel like Samus is probably like late 20s, right? I don't want her to be super, super young. She's like a, a seasoned mercenary, you know? That's what I have in my mind when I, when I envision Samus, right? So who could portray that? Um, right off the top, like I know the name that I saw come up here and there in the articles and things that I was looking at. Brie Larson said she wanted to play it. It could be bullshit, you know? She could just be talking out of her ass or maybe she didn't even say it. Like, I don't know. I take a lot of the, the entertainment news with a grain of salt, you know? Um, but yeah, that's the name it came up. It would be really close to Carol Danvers, wouldn't it? I don't know if I want to see her do that a similar role. So similar a role, you know? Okay. All right. Okay. Um, you know, I, mm, you know, I think I might want to see a Samus. I get the villain people will fucking drag me for this. But I think I might want to see Sydney Sweeney as Samus. She seems like kind of a draw right now, you know? So I think maybe Sydney Sweeney might be my pick for Samus. I gotta go back up to Brinstar. Okay. I'm trying to really envision a Metroid movie. What would that look like? But yeah, if it was me, I think I would want it to be animated. That'd be my vote. There's certain things you just can't. I think it's too hard to do in live action. You know? I feel like it would be easier to do like all these creature designs. Although. Uh, I don't know if you have someone like Guillermo del Toro on creature designs or something like that. I might be down for that. You know who would have been awesome at a Metroid movie back in the day? Jim Henson. Right? I think he could have done it. I know a lot of people will probably be like, I don't know. Questioning a little bit. Wait, wait, hold on. Where the fuck am I going? I think a lot of people will just kind of like picture like the Muppets as like the creatures and things like that and have like a giant like a uh, Ridley Muppet or something. But 
I think Jim Henson's Creature Shop totally could have done it. They did some of the best work with like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you know? And that was like 1990, 1991, right? So imagine if you jump forward, you know, a couple decades, the technology, because I'm, I'll, I don't want CG as like the creatures and things like that. Maybe some of them, or maybe have some help a little bit here and there. But for the most part, I think I would want them to be practical. I just got done seeing Alien, uh, what was it Romulus? And seeing like the CG alien, like it's just something better about it being a tangible creature, you know? You can tell it's actually there. It's not like an actor playing off like a tennis ball, pretending that there's an alien breathing and drooling goo in their face, you know? Uh, like this guy. But right now, I think James Gunn kind of has it dialed in, right? I really loved his... Uh, obviously, Guardians of the Galaxy, especially the first one. I really love that movie. Um, it's one of my favorite MCU movies. Just like... Just the emotional weight of everything, you know? Uh, what he was able to do with these characters. He got us to care about a tree and a talking raccoon, you know? Let's see if I can do this. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, I think James Gunn will be my guy, for real. Maybe Jim Henson's Creature Shop, or like if Guillermo del Toro has something like that, I would want him to like work on the, the designs and things like that and the uh, creatures, but yeah, I think that could be a really good marriage for something like this. All right, uh, back to Norfair. Okay. All right. All right, I, think I got the high jump now. All right, wait, wait, I'm gonna do this. All right. All right. Finding some stuff. Mm-hmm. All right. What do we get? We got a new super suit. This is always my favorite. And it's like that. We can deal with this shit now. No biggie. All right. Okay. I remember where we are. All right. And this is what we do. All right. Um, then... Over here, we have our, our little critters. All right. Ah, thanks, guys. Catch on the flip flop. Okay. I think we can get some some places we couldn't get before. Let's go check it out. Let me see. Ah, missile tank acquired. This get us where we need to go. I think it does. It's a speed puzzle, right? Alright, bear with me. We got this. Or not. Hold on, just kidding. That was a practice. That was a practice run. Oof, stretching out. I don't want to pull a hammy. Alright. There we go. I don't want to end this episode like just without that 
like big punctuation mark you know i feel like it's coming it's like right around the corner gotcha all right is there another one in here two nope we got some more goodies wave beam oh that's right Oh, this is why. That's why I can do it. All right. Uh, okay. Gotcha. See you in hell, shithead. All right. Okay. More missiles. Oh shit. Okay. All right. All right. Uh. Hinges on the turtle now. Left. Get him. Get him. That's it. Okay, that's it. All right. There's some more. A little bit more. Letting us know Ridley's closing in. Shame you came all this came all this way, just get your fucking balls kicked in. Let's get out of here. Yeah, that was the point. You're supposed to be like, fuck it. I'm out. Come back up here. And then, oh uh, yeah. This is what it was. Right? It burrowed down here. That's what it is. And now it's gone. And now you gotta deal with it. Oh. Oh shit. Oh boy. All right. Oh. What if I stop brushing his eggs? Or maybe I have to. Get down here. Get out of here. Where is he? Okay. Fuck. Oh, he's mad at me. God damn. Come on. Fucking doing it, dude. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Where is he? Where are you at? Come on. Where are you? He's some missiles. Come on. Gotcha. Where you at? Uh, mm. Where'd he go? Where'd 
Eat shit. Let me get super missiles. Alright, I think we can get to Ridley right now. Right? Can we? Wait. Alright. What is it? Energy tank. Alright. And then we can still go back down here, right? I think Ridley should be around here somewhere, right? We're getting close? I don't want to end the episode and then have him be like right around the corner. I'm really focused on, on getting Ridley. I'm trying to get there expeditiously. Right? Right, it's right in that weird gray area where I think we can still make the episode like timely, you know? Not have it drag on too long. But maybe that ship sailed. I don't know. What's all? Ah, okay. Let's see. More missiles. Dude, I think I found a lot more than my ordinary playthrough, like my personal playthrough. That initial run, like I said, it was meager. Oh shit. What's this? I'm just bombing everything. And it's paying dividends. Oh shit, hold on. Uh... Ah. Uh. Ooh, we're making some progress today. What is it? Oh shit, hold on. I think it's a uh, speed. Is this a speed puzzle? Well, let's see. Do I just plow through all these fucking... Okay, holy shit. Well, what's in here? All right. All right. All right. We got a secret room, I think. At least it was secret to me. I didn't find this shit last time. this oh shit uh, I am hitting the jackpot this is ridiculous like I swear I did not look up a walkthrough or anything but honestly maybe it's like a Dunning-Kruger effect where like I think I'm doing awesome but people who like really know their shit are just like no this is pedestrian stuff that you're finding Okay, okay, okay. Whoops. Shit. Alright. Uh, what do we get? Unknown item. Hmm. Spooky. Alright. Oh shit. Dude, I definitely have way more health than I did in my original initial playthrough. Hold on, let me power up. Because I should get some super bombs too, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have more health. Probably have more bombs. No, I think I have more bombs in my original playthrough. Oop. Ah. Ah, shit. God damn it, Ridley. Fucking give it to him. Where are you? Eat rockets, asshole. Oh, 
Come on. Give it to him. Give it to him. Come on. Come on. Keep, keep giving it to him. And we did it, gang. It is 6 a.m. I have yet to be just be able to go to sleep. I think you can hear it in my voice and the way I'm speaking. I'm not really putting senses together the way I should. But we did it. We accomplished something big here today. I'm proud. I'm proud. I couldn't have done it without you. We're going to pick this up next time, guys. I appreciate you. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, leave me a like. Let me know who you would cast as Samus. If you're going to make your Metroid movie. Uh, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you. Bye.